Hey there. So Valentine's Day, guys. Valentine's Day is approaching us and I have had some real life revelations through conversations with other people and conversations with myself in the shower. <laughs> so last week at work, I was listening to the radio and that's really, really like that's an anomaly for me. I don't really listen to a radio very often like I prefer my own music and then not like I'm an artist or whatever but I prefer the music that I like which is basically 90s R&B today we have okay that stuff yep totally not that there's anything wrong with some of it some of it is cool I listen to it I can vibe out to it others it's just like what have we come to Anyway, so we were listening to the radio, and they kept playing Valentine's Day commercials. So I was um, in a car with two colleagues, and I asked them, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. What are you guys doing? Both of these colleagues are married. Not to each other, but, you know, they're married. So I was like, what are you guys doing? So the female was just like, well, me and my husband aren't doing anything. We've been together long enough that it's just a day. And even when it wasn't just a day, like, all I ever wanted to do was go to IHOP. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. She was like, her husband's going to try to take off of work early, but... She was just like, it's pointless. I don't think I like this piano very much. Um, she was just like, it's pointless. So I like, I started thinking, and I was like telling them. I was like, I haven't, as a girl in a relationship, I can honestly say that I have not had a good Valentine's Day once very many years ago. But um, as a single girl, I've had the best Valentine's Days. If that makes any sense. So, like, we were just talking about it or whatever. And I, like, it kind of dawned on me, like, the night, like, sorry. Later that night when I was in the shower, I was like, dude, you've had the best Valentine's days as a single girl. Because you weren't expecting anything. You weren't trying to recreate anything. Like, I realized that when I was in a relationship and the Valentine's Day failed, it was, I mean, it failed because of other reasons. But, like, the main reason was because I was trying to redeem myself from the one terrible Valentine's Day I had several years ago. And you can't do that. Like, at this point now, it's just a lesson learned. It's a memory. It's something that I've forgiven. But I can't make, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't make that situation better because that was that situation. And I realized that I've just been trying to make that situation better. And you can't because that's just what it is. You know, you can't put, you can't put ice cream on top of shit and expect a Sunday. Like, that's just what it is. So, like, I realized that and I'm just like, damn, like, I've been trying to relive this one moment so bad that I keep on damaging myself and my idea of what this holiday should be. But in all actuality, like, yo, you just got to love yourself or love the people around you every day for no reason other than you genuinely care and love these people, dude. You genuinely care for and love yourself. Like, you just got to do it for you sometimes. So, with that being said, I was going to have, like, this really, really awesome Valentine's Day dinner on Valentine's Day. You know, treat myself, be happy, be merry. But Valentine's Day is on a Thursday. And by the time I get home, I want to go to sleep. So, this is what I'm going to do. That weekend is a holiday weekend, right? So I am going to treat myself on Saturday night to my own single me Valentine's Day treat. I'm going to do a three-course meal. So it's going to have an entree. I'm still up in the air about the entree. Like, I don't know if I want to do, like, a salad, a bruschetta, because it's going to be, like, an Italian thing, at least for the food. Like, an, um, a bruschetta or a seafood or a salad. I don't know what I want to do with the appetizer yet. But the entree, I'm going to have an Italian stuffed flank steak. It's going to have mozzarella and basil, maybe some cilantro in there. Um, paired with that, I'm going to have either pan-seared scallops or I'm going to have a roasted shrimp. I haven't decided yet. I have the shrimp with me and I'm comfortable with cooking shrimp. I love scallop, but I've never cooked it before. So I don't want to really mess it up. And even if I do this for me, like who cares? Lessons learned, right? So um, yeah, that would be the entree. And probably like an asparagus or maybe like a sweet potato puree or something. Like I'm really obsessed with MasterChef these days. Like my cooking skills are getting up there, people. Um, and then for dessert, I am going to, I was going to do a cheesecake. But I decided that I am going to bake from scratch a red velvet cake. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And like, I'm going to have... I, I'm not really a 
big red wine drinker, but like plenty of bottles of white. <laughs> like wine galore, guys. So yeah, so that's basically like the meal, or whatever, and just like vibe out like to some music, probably watch a movie, you know, just be happy, be merry, and sleep the weekend away. Cause that's what I wanna do. I wanna sleep. <laughs> Sleep past 5 a.m. Sleep past 7.30. Like, I just want to sleep. So I'm just basically, I'm going to treat myself to the to the night that I deserve, you know, and not waiting for anyone to do it for me, especially when I can do it myself. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait. Like, I'm going to show you guys my layout or my spread or whatever. Like, I'm super excited. Who makes me so happy? I'm so sleepy. But, yeah, that's, I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day this year. So I want to say.